Did you see that post? People are talking. Here's what's trending on the Ricky right. Smiley Morning Show. All right, y'all, Rick Smiley Morning Show. Hey, back by popular demand, it's Confession Friday, and don't worry, it's a judgment-free zone. <laughs> right? So, so you know, we got to get it kicked off. Um, it kicked off last week, and let's just say some of you have uh, been holding on to some things for way too long. After all, there are very strong evidence that venting about dark secrets can benefit your mental and physical well-being, Maria. <laughs> Why are you saying Maria? Because she found no, no, no. an article that a therapist wrote about oh, common no. confessions that she hears from patients. Uh, some of the recurring topics were, uh, I have no sexual desire for my partner anymore. I don't really like being a mom. I spent all this time and money, but I think I chose the wrong career. I cheated, and I don't want to stop, and those are just a few. Man. All right, so today's Friday, fill in the blank. Uh, so I've been holding on too long. I want to confess blank. We need Uh-oh. to know. Hit us up. 8669RICKEY. It's Confession Friday. Uh, uh, I'm sure the phone lines are blowing up. Y'all need to call and get it out. It's kind of like uh, Ricky Squickies a little bit. Uh, anybody want to confess can, anything? Can, I want to start off because I, I got a really bad confession from the <laughs> other day. All right. So, and it's more dishonest. It's not really dark. But yeah. me and my wife, we, got a, we had a couple of ceiling fans. We had a light situation and a ceiling fan situation in our bedroom that she been wanting me to fix for a long time. <laughs> yeah. So I took the light fixture, I took the fan thing apart, and I took the light fixture off the wall, and I was going to just, you know, re, you know, fix the wiring. Mm-hmm. And once I got in there, I realized that I didn't really kind of know what I was doing. So she was at the gym, and I called an electrician, <laughs> and I had him come over, and he fixed it. She got home 10 minutes after he left, and I took the credit for it. <laughs> And I heard her bragging to one of her friends about how good I did. Get you a a handy man. (laughs) (laughs) It cost me $200, but damn it, it was worth it because I sure got the credit for it. And I told my kids, don't y'all say that that, that this man was over Right. (laughs) Right. Let them know. I took the credit for it. Boy, you got got a man up, boy. You got to walk around that house with your chest stuck out, man. You got that damn silly thing. I had them wires sticking out. I had them wires sticking out rocking. I got scared. I said, if I do this wrong, I'm going to burn the house. I called that man, I said, bro, can you please come over here and fix it? Man, you got, the, you got that baby on Cessna airplane <laughs> engine, man. That damn ceiling fan going around so fast, boy. God. All right, Gary, any confessions? Uh, yeah, I mean, now, hey, now, y'all want me to confess now, honey? Oh, we don't want to hear only thing we want to hear with y'all. Right, <laughs> a spirit just came. Never mind. Uh, hell no, nah, you're not about to get us kicked out there. Okay, no uh, yeah, it's too early in the it. morning. People eating breakfast. Don't nobody hear nothing, nothing about none of that with, with you. With, with you, uh, uh, a shopping confession, Gary. Let's keep oh, it. Oh, yeah. I ain't got no shopping with honey, but I had a good one. Honey. You ain't stole nothing lately out of no, Neiman Marcus. No, I ain't stole nothing. When the last honey, time you stole no, something, Gary? Oh, no, I don't steal, honey. So you, you ain't still, confession would not be. You ain't there. stole since you left Houston. Uh uh-uh, uh no. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, stealing is not good for the soul, but Ulrich and my confession has been so good. Because, I mean, it really, I need to get it out, but I just, but I. Gary, let's take, let's Gary, take a vote. Yeah. Who Gary. wants to hear Gary's confession? But let's take I a vote, know. Gary. I, I do. I do. Yeah. I do. I want to yeah, hear it. Yeah, kids are in the car right now. Gary, it they at school, huh? Is it clean, Gary? It, well, no, uh, <laughs> Brad, what's your confession? Oh, hell no. Well, Ain't nobody got time uh, to be in no meeting today. <laughs> my, my wife's computer broke, and uh, I just told her, it probably just fell off the bed, but. The confession is, I, I, I broke it. Oh, how you spilled some water on it? No, I broke it. I stepped on it by accident. Oh, oh. it was a laptop. It was, no, it was under a jacket, but it was it had uh-huh. fell on the floor, but it was right. open, and I didn't know it was open, but it was under. I had threw my jacket on top of it, uh-huh. and I stepped on it, and I crunched it, and oh. I was like, oh, oh, oh my god, uh-huh. like I was like, oh, she gonna kill me. So I, you know, I closed it back. And how long? It, how right, long you been riding with it this? By her stuff. Uh, just a couple weeks. A couple weeks? <laughs> <laughs> you better go buy a new one. Any confessions, no, Maria? She, she thinks she did it. Oh, oh. Yep. Uh, well, you know, when me and my husband get couples massages, you know, he always prefers uh, a female therapist. And sometimes I say, oh, I don't mind if it's a man or a woman, but I would rather have a man rubbing my back hmm. when I get a massage. So I do right. care. Yeah. Hey, well, so. hey, 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 right. Remember I took that girl to get a massage. She didn't tell me she was tickling. <laughs> 
to you over there the whole time. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Laughed the whole time. She laughed the whole time. I couldn't even enjoy my day. I'll never forget. Was she fine enough for you to overlook it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, she was fine as hell. Fine. <laughs> she was probably one of the finest chicks I ever dated. All right, let's go to the phone. 866-9-RICKY. 866-9-R-I-C-K-E-Y. Good morning. Yeah, my confession is I've been married for five years, and the girl I knew from college has been married for eight years. And every year at homecoming, we get together and sleep together every single year. Been doing that for four years. The question is, after my husband admitted that he cheated on me, I slept with his sister. And she proposed, and I'm going to divorce him, and I'm going to marry her. I had to confess that when I was seven, what? I saw a pack of bank snacks. And I just confessed it to my church this Sunday, so I got off my chest. My confession is, is that I've not been with my husband with over nine years, and the sex is not good, and I don't know what to do. I wanted to confess that... Um, I got pregnant out of a gangbang. I just want to go to work oh. and slap my supervisor down on the floor. That's what I want to do. I slept with my ex-wife's best friend the day after I got married. Yeah, I'm just confessing that I am sick of it all. My name is Ronald Taylor from Monroe, Louisiana, and I'm sick of these uh, Republicans. Can't find a speaker of the House. I'm sick of these Democrats, especially Joe Biden, acting like he don't see how high these food prices are. I'm just sick of the whole thing. Anyway, yeah, my confession is, while I was dating my girl, I wind up knocking off both of her sisters. My confession is, when Floyd Mayweather said he was a capital G, capital A, capital O, capital T, I ain't seen nothing wrong with his family. <laughs> Can't spell it. <laughs>